How's it going everyone? JKXVXC back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. In today's video we're going to be showcasing 10 cars which are much faster than you'd expect. There's obviously well known fast cars such as the Aguer RS, the Bugatti Chiron, but these are 10 unusual cars which I highly recommend you go to own because these are very fast. So let's get right into it. Number 10 is the Porsche 917 race car, which is one of the most bizarre looking cars in the game, but is actually extremely fast. With all wheel drive and over 1,200 horsepower, this car is an absolute monster on the straights. However, the only downside to this is on the auction house that this car will set you back anywhere between five and 10 million credits. The next one is also a Porsche, which is actually the Porsche 918 Spider. This car rivals the McLaren P1 and the Ferrari LaFerrari, but fully upgraded, this car will absolutely blow those other two cars out of the window, along with quite a lot of other cars as well. Fully upgraded, the Porsche 918 comes out at just under 1,500 horsepower, which is not a number that most people would expect this car to get to. And the other good side to this car is it will only set you back 700,000 credits in the auction house. It's a very cheap car to buy and fully upgraded, you get an incredible amount of acceleration out of it. The next one is actually the strangest one on this list, the BMW i Setter. Now this thing is unbelievable. The BMW i Setter will only set you back about 10,000 credits up in the auction house and with an engine swap and a fully upgraded engine this thing will peak at around 600 horsepower which gives it some insane acceleration considering how light it is. Even on the drag strip this thing will outrun some supercars. It is that insane. The next one on the list is actually the Ford Mustang GT DLC car. This thing fully upgraded will top over 1,300 horsepower, which for a Mustang is pretty damn fast. And even with rear wheel drive on this thing, it is still insanely good at accelerating. It's obviously got a bit of wheel spin, but when you get your foot down in second, third, fourth and fifth gear, it just pulls and pulls and it also sounds pretty cool as well. The next one is probably one of the most popular ones on this list along with the next one that's coming up. It's actually the Hoonigan Hoonicorn V1 or V2. They both, they're both the same. These things top at 1,400 horsepower already and this thing's acceleration is also mental, especially all wheel drive. But because of the rarity of these things, because they're no longer available in the Forzathon shop, You'll be very lucky to find one of these under 20 million credits. If you go to the auction house right now, you can see them listed, but well, they're up for 20 million credits. So good luck finding one of these. They're incredibly expensive, but incredibly fast. This one's probably the most well-known one on the list, however I'd like to feature it anyway because let's get some more awareness out there of how fast this thing is and it's the McLaren F1 GT. This thing will set you back about 5 million credits on the auction house, however the acceleration is probably the fast accelerating vehicle in the whole game. If you've got 5 million to spend, this is what I would recommend buying because it's so fast. The 
The next one is one of my favourites, it's the Lamborghini Murcielago, which will set you back a good half a million credits, which is kind of nothing compared to the other vehicles on this list. Now fully upgraded with the stock engine, it will push just under 1,500 horsepower, which is why this car is impressive, because it's not the type of car you would expect to become insanely good in accelerating with the stock engine fully upgraded. And not only is it insanely fast, it also sounds ridiculous as well. Next one's a surprising one, it's actually the TVR Speed 12, which is a barn find vehicle, so you can get this car for free, providing you find the correct barn find, which I'm sure you all will. The only downside to this one is you do need to engine swap it. However, with well over a thousand horsepower, this thing has unbelievable acceleration. One of the fastest accelerating cars on this list, I would say this is, and considering it's technically free, it's definitely worth nabbing this. Next one on the list is the Ferrari 812 Superfast. This thing is a highly underrated car in this game, I think because it's so rare. You will very rarely find these on the auction house. They're not purchasable from the auto show and it will set you back at least 20 million credits if someone puts one up or if you get lucky, a couple of million. Fully upgraded at well over 1,300 horsepower. It is well worth it for the acceleration of this thing which is also one of the fastest accelerating ones on this game list and not many people think about this car because they relate it to the California, the Ferrari FF, the F12 Bernaletta but this thing is in its own different league. It is so much faster than all of those other cars and you need to get it. Next one on the list is the Lotus Elise GT1 which is also another barn find vehicle which will make this car free as long as you can find the bar find or just buy it for super cheap off the auction house. This thing while only topping less than a thousand horsepower with the stock engine, it is extremely impressive with the handling, extremely impressive with the speed considering the horsepower it has and it absolutely dominates its own class. If you're looking for a cheap sub a thousand horsepower car that will mostly outdo any other a thousand horsepower car, this is definitely the one to pick. It accelerates a lot faster than you'd expect a typical 900 horsepower car to accelerate. So there we are guys, those are my 10 most recommended cars that are surprisingly fast. More than you'd expect when you looked at it and thought, shall I fully upgrade this or shall I not? Is it going to be fast or is it going to be slow? Please let me know in the comment section below which cars you were unaware that they were so fast from this list. I'm sure there'll be a couple. In my opinion, when I saw how fast the Porsche 918 was, I was very surprised because the P1 and the LaFerrari get nowhere near that thing. I would highly recommend going and buying a few of these as well, the cheap ones, and maybe keeping an eye out for some of the expensive ones as well. You might be able to swipe them. Or if you're low on credits in general and you want to get some more credits, I released a video a couple of days ago on the Ultimate Money Method Guide. How you can get from zero credits to 100 plus million. But anyway, ladies, let me know what your favourite car was of this review. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all in the next video.